Welcome to RVing Today TV. On our first story, we'll explain to you what over 70% of all RVs share in common. And the answer may surprise you enough that you may want to consider making some changes to your RV. And with winter knocking on the door, you may want to consider joining about a million other RVers flocking to Quartzsite, Arizona for the winter. There's lots to see and do there between January and early April, as Michelle Fontaine shows us from her last visit there. Then we have an unusual pause on board segment for you this week as we head to the Arizona desert and catch up with a couple of the gals from the Arizona Border Collie Rescue, along with a few of the thousands of dogs they have rescued over the years. Looks like these Border Collies love RVing and camping also. Later, we join Mark Polk from RV Education 101 as he shows us a new simple way to measure the weight distribution on your trailer. These stories and more on this week's RVing Today TV. Closed and Spanish captioning where available is sponsored by Forest River. Follow the river. Ever found yourself in this situation before? Don't worry, because over 70% of RVers around you will have the same exact key, as we learned from Chris Carpenter over at CPG Global Link. Hi, I'm Chris Carpenter. I'm the Manager of Business Development for Creative Products Group. Creative Products Group is the aftermarket division of Global Link Distribution. Global Link being the tier one OEM supplier, Creative Products Group taking care of all the aftermarket supply chain. So as you can see behind us, we got about 125,000 square feet of product. Our main thing is replacement or upgrade locks for the, for the RVs. And that goes everywhere from entry door locks to baggage locks to even the little round silver cam locks. The other thing is, is we sell about 100,000 replacement keys a year. So if you lose a key, uh, you can't just go to a locksmith and get an RV key cut. Uh, it's hard for them to find blanks that'll fit our stuff. We do sell blanks to a lot of locksmiths. Just wanted to show everyone the replacement keys that we have in stock. We are the premier supplier for replacement pre-cut keys. You don't have to go to a locksmith and have them cut. Just give us a call or go on our website and order the keys. We have them for most brands except for one. As you can see, we have a lot of the purple keys that represent about 80% of your total market. We also offer some programs like keying your, your RV alike. So if you've got two entry doors and you have two different doors, they never seem to be keyed the same. We can offer you a program where you can take the cylinders out of one door and match the front door. Now you got one key that fits both doors. It's not necessarily just the convenience of having one key for your entire unit, but it's also the security. So you'll get the security of not having the exact same key as 80% of the other RVers in the campground. Um, we always like to mention the, the most popular, the CH751 key. I would guess if you have that 751 key on your key ring, if you're sitting around the campground with 10 other guys having a cold drink, Nine of them will have that 751 key on their ring as well. And that's mainly the, the cam locks, the little round silver locks. Um, and they're all keyed the same. Uh, we used to, I'm an older guy, as you can tell, but in the old days, we only kept beer and firewood in there. We didn't care. Now we have $1,000 batteries and $1,500 satellite dishes and $200 sewer hoses. It's a lot more important. So what we offer is an option to either take those cylinders, and now on those 751 cam locks, you gotta replace the lock, but we're talking $15. You can replace the lock, and if you happen to have a global branded entry door lock with a G300 key code, we can key it to that G300 number as well. The whole idea is to get one key on your key ring that fits everything on your RV, the convenience is, is wild. One of the other issues we have when you have two doors, two entry doors, if you happen to have those, chances are they're not the key the same. So you have two keys that look identical. One of our biggest problems on the aftermarket side is people have that, they put the wrong key in the lock and they think, yeah, it's a little sticky. So they force it and that's where the key breakage comes in. When in actual, they just had the wrong key. They, they had the back door key using it on the front door. So if we can do that, that makes their life easier and it also cuts down on the damage and the, and the breakage. So our big thing is just keeping people supplied with the things they can't find everywhere. We do work very heavily through the dealership program and through the distribution channel on the aftermarket. We also offer an internet site for those things that you just can't find anywhere else. www.rvlocksandmore.com 
Uh, shortcut would be www.rvlam.com. When you go on there, it's all retail pricing. It's the same price you'd probably pay at a dealership, but the convenience. We're dealing with the e-commerce world. We stepped into that e-commerce world uh, several years ago, and we think we do a real good job of it. Right now, our lead time is 24 hours. If you place an order tonight, we normally ship it out tomorrow morning, and hopefully we can get you taken care of. When Bedford launched Aquachem, it didn't take long before it became the number one selling holding tank treatment for over 50 years. Until now. Meet Aquamax, Thetford's new generation of holding tank products that works even better and are also campground friendly and environmentally safe. Looks like a new number one is taking over. For more information, visit Thetford.com. Want more RVing today? Then visit RVingToday.tv. Besides our weekly show and extended segments, you'll find additional stories and videos along with insightful information on what's new and what's happening around the world in RVing. From luxury RVs to unique camper vans, and from RVing with pets to RVing with kids, you'll find it all and more in RVingToday.tv. Now, let's join Michelle as she finds out all about RV life in Quartzsite, Arizona. Hi, this is Michelle and Laurie from Rolling on TV, and we're going to explore Quartzsite, Arizona. Quartzsite is located in the county of La Paz, Arizona, and normally it has a year-round residency of about 4,000 people. However, during the wintertime, this number increases to a million RVers. So this small desert town, which happens to have perfect winter weather, really has morphed itself into taking care of all these RVers that come in once a year. One of the important things for us is to check out the Quartzsite Sports Vacation and RV Show during our three days. But there is so much more to Quartzsite than the show. So please join us as we take a look at Quartzsite, Arizona. The first thing you'll notice probably as you arrive in Quartzsite, which is at the intersection of Route 10 and Route 95, are the vendors. There are 2,000 vendors selling everything imaginable. <laughs> and this is known as one of the world's largest flea markets. Pigs could fly. After all that shopping, we were hungry. We had asked people along the way, what's the best place to have lunch now in Quartzsite? All of them said one particular restaurant. In our planning process, we had been told to check out this former hotspot restaurant in Quartzsite, and we did. However, they didn't even have a liquor license at this point in time. And yeah, it, w it was time for a cocktail. So we headed over to Silly Al's. Now, Silly Al's is an unimposing one-story building with the big sign. You can't miss it. It's right at one of the main intersections. We waited a bit. It was quite hustling and bustling. And it took us a little bit of time for our food. But considering how many people were in there, we were not surprised. The food was hot and delicious and we enjoyed lunch with our friends. Winter temperatures are in the 70s. Gorgeous BLM land, Bureau of Land Management land, which is very, very free to inexpensive to stay on. But how are all these RVs serviced? These are not full hookup campsites. These are mostly dry camping situations. Well, there are many, many, many options for RVers to dump and fill and everything else they need to do right near the center of town. There are also services that will come to you at your dry campsite. Quartzsite is known for its ATV and RV friendly atmosphere. It does have 70 traditional RV parks in addition to 11,000 acres of BLM land. Bureau of Land Management land, which offers long-term visitor areas 
and also 14-day free dispersed camping areas. We arranged with our friends to stay at a place near the Baby Boomers area on Plamosa Road. So as we were going down Plamosa Road, we saw signs and signs and signs of all these groups who were gathered to be in Quartzsite. Once we got settled into our campsite, which was right near the Baby Boomer group, our friend Hans had to take a look at our water pump. So, try it again. Beautiful. It sounds right. We also got to meet some pretty neat neighbors, and Laurie got a great offer. You want to go up? I'll take you up. <laughs> I will, with my camera? Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. What a great treat. Laurie's in for, and we get to enjoy along with her. But first, let's cover the Quartzsite Sports Vacation and RV Show, which was started in 1984. Here's a tip. Don't go on the first day. It's a bit challenging. You get pushed down those aisles, and it's hard to really stop and ask questions. Just a lot of people on the first day. So we've just completed the inside of the Quartzsite RV Show tent. Now we're walking around on the outside. Lots and lots of activity. What's nice about this RV show is it's free. Many RV shows, the parking costs, the entrance fee costs, and the weather here is so perfect. So it's no surprise that they're gonna have 160,000 people come through here. And people are buying, walking around with purchases, eating, <laughs> all the many kinds of uh, fried foods <laughs> and ice cream. And that gives you a taste of the Quartzsite Sports Vacation and RV Show held in January in Quartzsite, Arizona. And now let's get back to Laurie's special treat. This is a powered parachute or PPC. It has three wheels and one or two seats, two seats in this example. Max and his wife, Diane, have enjoyed the sport for quite a while. It involves a 400 to 500 square foot rectangular parachute. It has a 45 to 65 horsepower engine, often hauled around in a toy hauler or a tow trailer. It lifts off at 30 miles per hour and it needs 200 feet for liftoff. Max took Laurie over the big show tent and we get to see a big portion of Quartzsite's RVs. Well, it's been quite a learning experience these last few days in Quartzsite, Arizona. And as the sun sets and we enjoy one more campfire with friends, old and new, plans turn to next January when we hope to gather together again. Off the road adventure camping to luxurious full time RVing and everything in between, Forest River has the RV to fit your needs, budget, and outdoor lifestyle. To see our full line of trailers and motorhomes, visit ForestRiverInc.com. Forest River, begin the journey. At Norcole, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norcole refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norcole RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norcole.com. Pause on Board is brought to you by Jones Natural Chews, family owned and made in the USA. I'm Kara. I'm Kelly. And we are in outside of Wickenburg and at State Trust Land camping, dry camping with some of our best friends. And Wickenburg is in Western Arizona. I founded 
Arizona Border Collie Rescue 20 years ago. And since then, it's grown into rescuing almost 4,000 dogs. We currently own 15, 15 dogs. <laughs> and we have decided to start dry camping, boondocking as some people call it, because we like to enjoy our dogs and our friends without a lot of other people around. We try to bring about half of our dogs when we come. They enjoy camping, they enjoy hiking, they get to play some ball when they're out. And uh, we just get to spend time with them and ourselves and our friends. We have a little side-by-side -side sand car that uh, is, is fun to go off-roading on. Uh, we go out uh, to the, the sand dunes. There's an area of sand dunes out in East, it's actually East California. The rig we chose was a Forest River XLR fifth wheel toy hauler. We originally bought this because we wanted to be able to bring our side-by-side -side car into it. And also it has plenty of room for guests if we have guests. And, um, and there's plenty of room for the dogs when we bring the dogs. And we have handicapped dogs in the back end of our camper has a ramp that they're able to get in and out of easily. We do have a website, it's www.azbcr.org, and we also have a Facebook page, Arizona Border Collie Rescue. We rescue up to 350 dogs a year and rehome them. We're gonna probably have the number 4,000 dog this year that we've rescued, which is a huge accomplishment. This is Carly, and Carly was was found severely injured and had a spinal cord injury and she has since lost her back legs, but she still gets around and is a happy dog. But all our fundraising events and things we do for the dogs, all the monies go back towards dogs like this. We have a rescue calendar every year that all of our dogs in there are from, from our rescue. And this is one of our fundraising events that we do. What a great job this group does, and if you'd like to learn more about the Arizona Border Collie Rescue, or better yet, adopt one of these lovely dogs, visit their website at azbcr.org. Coming up after the break, Mark Polk from RV Education 101 shows us a simple way to assure you have the proper weight distribution on your trailer. We'll be right back. Want more RVing today? then visit RVingToday.tv. Besides our weekly show and extended segments, you'll find additional stories and videos along with insightful information on what's new and what's happening around the world in RVing. From luxury RVs to unique camper vans, and from RVing with pets to RVing with kids, you'll find it all and more in RVingToday.tv. When Bedford launched AquaChem, it didn't take long before it became the number one selling holding tank treatment for over 50 years. Until now. Meet Aquamax, Thetford's new generation of holding tank products that works even better and are also campground friendly and environmentally safe. Looks like a new number one is taking over. For more information, visit Thetford.com. Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. The good folks at Equalizer Hitch asked me if I wanted to review and test their on-target towing tool. The primary function of the tool is to make measuring your weight distribution fast and easy. After a couple quick measurements, you know exactly what your weight distribution percentage is, so you can make any adjustments necessary for safer towing. Weights constantly change in travel trailers. You remove weight, add weight, and move things around. You tow the trailer with weight in the holding tanks and you tow the trailer when the holding tanks are empty. This means your weight distribution is constantly changing and that can affect how the trailer tows. Prior to having this tool, I had to go to the scales to determine what the current weight distribution percentage is. So, let's see how this on-target towing tool works. To test the towing tool, I'm using my new Ram truck and our restored 1967 Yellowstone travel trailer. The hitch head I'm using was previously set up for my 71 Dodge Power Wagon, 
My new truck has never been used to tow the trailer prior to this, so it will be interesting to see what happens. Inside the box is the tool, three AAA batteries, a protective case, the target reflector card, and a wristband. We installed the batteries, now we're going to follow the instructions that came with the tool. Read all the safety warnings, particularly about the laser beam. The first step is to park on flat level ground, chalk the trailer tires, and uncouple the trailer without pulling forward. Next, turn the tool on by pressing the read button. The default setting is the weight distribution mode. Place the reflector card on the ground lined up with the center of the tow vehicle's front tire and wheel well. Place the tool at the center line of the front wheel well against the bottom of the fender, aiming the laser down. Line the laser up with the target reflector. Press the read button to take measurement A. This is measurement A uncoupled. Measurement B is with the trailer coupled to the truck without spring bars so it's the full amount of tongue weight. Make this measurement at the same place and press read to get measurement B. Measurement C is with the spring bars engaged. Take this measurement in the same place again. This is measurement C. Now the on-target tool calculates the current weight distribution achieved. Equalizer Hitch recommends a weight distribution reading amount between 50 and 100 percent. Adjust the hitch and spring bars and re-measure C until you are in the recommended range. Then you can test drive the setup and repeat any steps necessary. Proper weight distribution provides improved steering, better braking, and improved vehicle control, keeping you safer when towing heavy loads, driving in inclement weather, passing semi-trucks, or driving in crosswinds. Other functions of the tool are, it makes the job of leveling your trailer easier with the electronic level feature, it can measure how deep your campsite is using the laser distant measuring tool, and you can easily measure your clearances in wooded areas to make sure awnings and slide outs can fully extend. As far as proper weight distribution percentages go, I give the on-target towing tool an A+. To learn more about the on-target towing tool, visit EqualizerHitch.com and click on Towing Tools. Happy camping. And now, let's join Jeff Johnston for a little RV straight talk about RV covers. Hi there, I'm Jeff Johnston, and welcome to RV Straight Talk, where I'll try and answer your RV technical and at times not so technical questions. Well, it's that time of season when a lot of RVs are going into winter hibernation, and Mike has a really good question about that. He writes, <clears throat> When it comes to winter fifth wheel storage, should I invest in an RV cover? We get rain and wind at the coast. I worry about wear and abrasion and trap moisture. I know covers have come a long way since plastic tarps. And that's from Mike, somewhere near the coast. Well, Mike, yeah, if you want to take care of your RV, you definitely want to invest in a good quality RV cover. The plastic tarps you mentioned, you know, they, they may shed some water for a while until they start ripping up. But the, the plastic is actually abrasive and fairly stiff. And as it's wrapped over your RV while it's flapping in the wind and whatnot, it's abrading the finish damaging your RV. A good quality RV cover made for that job, uh, number one is water resistant or waterproof. They're usually uh, breathable so that they allow moisture that's trapped inside next to the RV the ability to escape. And they also have an underside that has a kind of a, a soft padded material that won't damage the finish on the RV. But most of the better quality ones also have a lot of straps and such so you can really tighten them down snug to minimize the amount of flapping and movement in the wind. So definitely invest in a good quality cover and you won't regret it. Long term, it'll be a huge help to keeping your RV in good condition. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching. For the latest up to the minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com. If you're into RVing or just appreciate vintage vehicles, be sure to set your GPS for the RV MH Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. This museum houses the largest collection of vintage RVs and trailers dating as far back as 1916. For more information, visit their website at rvmhhalloffame.org. 
for more information on anything you saw in this week's episode, along with additional videos, interesting stories, and RV news, visit our website at rvingtoday.tv. This has been another fun production.